Hello friends. Welcome to my new Bootstrap 3 tutorial series video. Being first tutorial, today we will discuss about what is Bootstrap 3, and how to set up its environment for quick start. Friends. In order to learn Bootstrap 3, let's visit Bootstrap 3 official website. Open Google and type Bootstrap 3. Go to getbootstrap.com. On home page it describes what is Bootstrap. As you can see it says. Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS and JS framework for developing responsive, mobile first projects on the web. That means it's a front end framework which is used to create responsive mobile first projects on the web. It makes front-end development faster. It creates web pages for all sort of devices such as phones, tablets and desktops etc. It also works well with CSS preprocessors such as LESS and SAS. We will discuss this more later. Also, it is full of features such as it provides many custom HTML, CSS components and plugins for JavaScript. We will discuss all those features and components later in series. Moving ahead. Let's see a web page developed in Bootstrap 3. It's a template created by Brad in Bootstrap 3. Bootstrap is full responsive. Here, by responsive we mean that, it allows developers to create a website that can change its layout on the go. Which means that, developers can create a single design that works on any kind of devices such as, mobiles, tablets, smart TVs, and PCs. Currently, it's a desktop web page. When I change its width to mobile or tablet size, the web page responds quickly and adjusts its components. Thus, making web page responsive. That's the power of Bootstrap. Moving ahead. Let's see how to download and set up Bootstrap 3 for quick start. On home page, there is download Bootstrap button. Click on it. You can see there are few ways to download and start web development with Bootstrap. One is just downloading compiled and minified CSS, JavaScript and fonts without any docs. Second is downloading Bootstrap with complete source and docs. And third is using Bootstrap ported from less to sass. We will discuss it later. If you browse down, there is something called as Bootstrap CDN. CDN means Content Delivery Network. That is you can work with Bootstrap without downloading anything. You can just include CDN links to your HTML files and you get power of Bootstrap. Moving ahead. Bootstrap can also be installed on machine through Bower, NPM and Composer. They have commands which downloads and installs latest version of Bootstrap. We will discuss about all these in detail in upcoming tutorials. For now let's download Bootstrap with no docs and source files. It's a simple way to kick start learning Bootstrap. It downloads Bootstrap in a zip format. Let's open and extract the Bootstrap zip. You can see it has three folders. CSS, Fonts and JS. In CSS folder, it has various CSS files which holds power of Bootstrap 3 framework. It has bootstrap.css file, and also its minified version by name bootstrap.min.css. It is called minified because it has no spaces and no comments, which reduces the size of the file. It has fonts folder, 
which includes third-party glyph icon fonts. These fonts are free to use with Bootstrap. We will use them very frequently in upcoming tutorials. The third folder is JS folder. It contains Bootstrap JavaScript files to provide action to Bootstrap components. We will discuss all those components in upcoming tutorials. Moving ahead. Let's create a folder by name Bootstrap Tutorials. We will code all our Bootstrap examples in this folder. Inside Bootstrap Tutorials, let's create a folder by name Introduction. In this folder we will code our first Bootstrap example. Moving ahead. In order to provide Introduction Web Project, Power of Bootstrap, we simply copy all those three folders from Bootstrap, and paste it inside Introduction folder. For coding Bootstrap examples in this and upcoming tutorials, I will use a text editor by name Sublime Text. You can go to its website, sublimetext.com and download it. It's an awesome text editor with great features. Let's move ahead and start Sublime Text 3. In order to open our Bootstrap Tutorials project, go to File and select Open Folder. Just choose Bootstrap Tutorials Parent Project and click Select Folder. You can see it has opened folder with respective subfolders. It has our Introduction folder. Under Introduction folder you can see it has Bootstrap folders. Thus, our environment setup is done and we are ready to play with Bootstrap 3. In next tutorial we will code our first Bootstrap example in Introduction folder. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, Bootstrap introduction and environment setup, concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.